I'm streaming on Twitch pretty much daily now. Link is in the description. Hello lads, welcome back to another Anime Adventures video. In today's video, I just wanted to show a unit that is uh, relatively new. He is new to the raid update. I might be a little bit late to the party, but here we are. This is the Naruto Beast Cloak. Yeah version and he has a godspeed i got godspeed on him this guy is basically a a, a a unit you get from raid you essentially have to evolve a certain somebody which uh, there he is you get this guy from the north raid uh, either by just completing it or from capsules or you can craft him if you have enough crafting materials essentially you can get this demon cloak naruto and if you go to the evolve place thingy you can actually evolve him into the beast uh, cloak or not cloak but beast mode whatever that is called i already forgot but over here evolve boom pick a unit uh this lad right here evolve and there we go you need two scrolls and four narutos these scrolls you get from the raid like the raid shop they cost 100 shards each so in total 200 shards and the narutos cost 50 shards so there'll be 200 shards here too i'm pretty sure so in total there'll be around 400 shards but i think you need one more naruto no, you don't. You just need four. So yeah, two, uh, 400 shards in total. So, and how you get to raid shop is inside the raid here. You just have to pray that the raid shop has the MPC you're looking for. Because the MPC stands right there with the boxes there. It's either going to be Jiraiya, which is the Naruto shop, or uh, Mikasa, which is the uh, Attack on Titan shop. So just pray that <laughs> it's the Naruto shop. So if we go to items real quick, the red shards here are the Naruto shards, the Tail Beast shards. Essentially, this unit is a pretty cool mythic, I gotta say. Some people, he's not the strongest. Uh, well, of course not. He's not the strongest, but some people he says he's pretty weak. I wouldn't say that. I feel like he's pretty good. He's pretty decent. Yeah, I want to show him real quick. So let's go to a uh, not infinite mode. We're just going to go and do a story mode real quick. Or should we do infinite mode? Yeah, let's do infinite mode. Actually, actually, I don't think I have the right units for infinite mode. Oh, I, shit. I forgot to change. No, no, I forgot to. Ch oh, well, anyway, it doesn't matter. We're in a match, we're in a level and the MCs are not loaded in. Right. I have shitty connection. Let's place uh, the Naruto down here. There we go. So he's, uh, I have him at level 50. So he base deals 344 uh, damage at 5.7 seconds. And he has 14 range. Well, the seconds is a little bit different since he has got speed. That means he just attacks faster. Yeah, do I have effects? Oh, I don't. Let's add, enable effects. Is he attack or is are you, is he lagging? There we are. Okay, good, good, good. So let's upgrade in a fair bit. Two upgrades. I didn't mean to do that fast. I'm kind of used to him. My bad. I'm not good at showcases, but... I upgrade twice. Now he deals 900 damage at 5 seconds with 17 range. Which is pretty nice. And I don't like that guy being alive. So I'm just going to do everybody a favor. But yeah, as you can see here, his attack is pretty nice. I like his effects. His first attack is uh, a tail beast bomb. It explodes like that. He has a big AoE, as you can see. Well, not big, big, but it's pretty decent for, you know, spawning in first. His third upgrade, or upgrade 3, will get him Vermilion Slash. Which uh, is a pretty cool move. I like it. It's uh, it's it's it looks cool and it you know it's also pretty handy. It's also very fast. As you can see, a 4.6. Well, yeah, because Godspeed. But yeah, just know that he has Godspeed. Okay, he is fast. Well, we got some money now. Should we upgrade the money? Yes, I just have more money. Might get some troubles here. Um, I should probably upgrade him. Actually, are we fine? Kinda, I guess. I think we're fine. Give me the moon, uh, moon, eh? Give me moonis, please. Moonis. Next wave. Three, please. Now, next, um, um, next wave. Yes. Actually, upgrade now. So now we have vermilion, uh, whatever it's called, vermilion slash. If you didn't see there, he spawns a hand and boom, slams down. The AOE is much bigger now, as you can see. Pretty, pretty big. And he deals 1.2k damage at 4.6 speed. 20 round range, very nice, very nice. I like him. We got more money now, so let's upgrade him once. Uh, let's upgrade him more. More damage, more damage. Here we go. As you can see, he's pretty devious. And he, you know, the effect is pretty cool. I liked it. I like it a lot. It's very cool. It's very cool. Let's upgrade him again. And his, uh, f uh, not last, but his next upgrade is the Vermilion. Rasengan, which uh, some say you should not upgrade into this, but I, I, I advise getting this because um, depending on the position you placed him, uh, it'll be a pretty good uh, move because a lot of people know this already, but the Vermilion Rasengan is basically, uh, it'll cha it changed the AoE to something else. You you'll see soon. Let me just get the money first. There we go. And Vermilion Rasengan. 
boom, he becomes a cone. Which I, I prefer this, not gonna lie. The cone is pretty thin though, respectfully, but I like cone a lot. Because if you place them in a good spot, they are pretty devious. So I always put, well not always, I mostly put them on last now once they get cone. Because that will mostly benefit them. Because if they try to go first and they go past him, he'll just deal no damage. So that's always good to have some other like units with him to help him out if others pass him. You might think, is that it for Naruto? Is that really it? Once you get the, the upgrade 8 here, or 7, 8, whatever, the 8 upgrade, it'll be done. Well, not really. Because um, there's one special thing about him that no other units has. Yet, at least. Yet. So here's Kisara, that's bad. So I'm gonna actually invest money into Irvins now. Let's uh, get more of these. More Irvins. Come on. Yep. Good damage, good damage. Not enough though. It's a very close call. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Ah, now nah, we got this, we got this. Now he, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. But yeah, what's so special about uh, uh, Naruto? I forgot to mention that. Uh, the specialty of him is that he can be placed... Uh, uh, hold on, let me just get more money. Next wave, please. Thank you. He can be placed down five times. You see there? That is five Naruto's right there. And if they all deal this amount of damage... And actually, actually, I can get him in a shorter time. You see, there, 3.8 seconds. I haven't even maxed this guy. Hold on. So let's max him up real quick. There we go. Maxed out. 2.7k damage at 3.8 seconds with 32 range. Now, this is Godspeed uh, speed. So, without Godspeed, he's 4.8 seconds. Okay? So that's 4.8 seconds without Godspeed. But with Godspeed, he's 3.8. So, I did the math here. I'm not going to upgrade all of these to max because that's like way too long. I have an appointment today, so I can't really mess around in Infernal too much. But essentially, I've done the math here. If there's five of these uh, Nartos, max out Nartos, at 3.8 seconds, all of them. At 7.6 seconds, with five of them all maxed out, with Godspeed, by the way, at 7.6 seconds, they will deal 27,000 damage in 7.6 seconds. And that will be a cone AoE, like uh, like this, uh, this big of an AoE. That is 27,000 damage every 7 seconds, or 7.6 seconds. That is actually really impressive, for me at least, that sounds really impressive. Because all of these 5, you can place 5 of them down, and you can hurl them all up together, and they will deal that much damage. Which is pretty nice. If you spread them around, of course it will be different. And of course there's some other units that are a little bit better than uh, uh, Naruto here, right? That doesn't mean he is bad. He's still pretty good. But then again, I don't have him maxed out. That's, that was level 50 stats. If he's maxed out, he'll deal way more damage. Maybe close to like 35,000 damage or 40,000 actually. I think he's 40,000. He'll be more devious. I'm not going to go too much in depth in today's video. Because I actually need... Yeah, like I said, I have an appointment to meet. So this will be a short video of just me explaining him and showing him. And there you are. There you can see how he does. It, it works pretty well. But yeah, that was it for today's video. In my next Anime Adventures video, I'll probably cover Eren. Because I, I almost have him. I'm very close to getting him. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you liked it. And I'll see y'all in a later video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you liked it. And I'll see y'all in a later video.